prudent fiscal management policies paired with sensible guidance from professionals who possess local, regional, and international experience has guided the peer administration's approach to initiating the Euronora International Airport HIA redevelopment project. The review told us that if we continue on that trajectory, the airport will cost us about 500 million U.S. dollars. <laughs> Multiply 500 million U.S. dollars by 2.7, you'll get 1 billion of our dollars. You think I, in any good conscience, and that is without putting things for COVID, you know, you think I, born and bred in St. Lucia, a product of St. Lucia, you think I would put my country through a $1.2 billion debt for an airport? You think your children will ever forgive me? The government of St. Lucia previously secured a public-private partnership or PPP arrangement with the World Bank's International Financial Cooperation, the IFC. Under the terms of the previous PPP arrangement with the IFC, the government of St. Lucia was not required to borrow multi-million dollar sums to finance the HIA redevelopment project. The IFC would also incur maintenance costs over the life of the PPP arrangement. The tender was held in France. In France. That's where, that's where the tender was held. I wasn't there. There were about 60 interested firms that said they wanted to get involved in that PPP. When they were competed, three firms were, were chosen. Three firms. And these three firms were ready to go ahead with the, the arrangement when we lost the elections. The government came into power and they said no PPP. They made a calculation because there's something called an airport development tax. They made a calculation and they just multiply. <laughs> <laughs> they multiply the airport development tax. They multiply it by the amount of people that come in the airport and they say, that's the money we're going to make. You want to believe that? As a consequence of exiting the PPP arrangement in 2018, the government of St. Lucia was required to pay the IFC nearly $1 million. The peer administration has since re-engaged the IFC and has returned the HIA redevelopment project to a more fiscally responsible course. We call the IFC in and we said to the IFC, Look at what these guys are building there. Tell us what you think. Uh -uh. Yes, we did it. <clears throat> and the IFC said, your guys are crazy. So you think I would put you through that? So what we did is that we asked the committee for five options. Five options as to what to do with the piles. They gave us five options. And we went to cabinet. It's not one man, you know. It's a cabinet. We went to cabinet, and cabinet said, out of the five options, there are two we think that are feasible. So we went back to the IFC, to be sure, and said to the IFC, tell us which of the two options you should make. And then we went for the report. Last August, the peer administration appointed a seven-member committee to review the scope and financing arrangements of the HIA redevelopment project. The committee's findings have been turned in and will be examined in the parliament chamber in due course. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.